The music is a gameplay spoiler. You know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be waiting. And you can't blame me. You have to blame the map. This is a really strange map. Out of all the maps I've ever played in Call of Duty, I've had some of the worst moments on this map. And by worst moments, I don't mean scores. I just mean it's weird. Like, look at this. Why are there so many stairs and, and just how do you play this map? The only way I can think of playing this map is to wait. And I wonder if what I'm doing right here, I wonder if this is going to be considered moving in Black Ops 2 when you have Ghost. So you don't show up on the radar if you just move slightly to the left to the right. And uh oh, splash. I think it's easier to make it splash in the Modern Warfare games than it is in the Treyarch games. Because in Black Ops, how could you make it splash? The only way you could really make it splash was with maybe C4. What about the Rolling Thunder? That game, you didn't, you couldn't really make it splash, you know? Like, I mean, you could make it splash with your gun. You could get a lot of kills with your gun. You could get 60, 70 kills in the game. But there wasn't really that many splash moments. But in the Modern Warfare games, you have the Predator Missile, the AC-130 in Modern Warfare 2. You have the Reaper. You have all these things that can get you nice splashes. But in Black Ops, they're a little more rare. Oh, look at that rage quit. Oh my gosh. I think rage quitting is more prevalent in Black Ops games, though. People were rage quitting like crazy in Black Ops. You call out that Blackbird, that SR-71, that smooth Radar-71. And don't forget that game I had on the PS3 on Kowloon. There were five host migrations in one game. Rage quitting is crazy in the Treyarch games, and I think it's going to be crazy in Black Ops 2. But you know what I think is interesting? That it's going to take six kills to get a UAV. Is it in Domination or is that in TDM 2? But if that's, if that's true, if that's really true, it's going to take like six or seven kills to get a UAV. You're not really going to need Ghost. I mean, I'm still going to have it anyway. I mean, if you manage to get one of those things, I'm still going to have it. <laughs> But I don't know. I don't think there's going to be a spam of UAV like in this game. And I don't think you can do the hardline two kill UAV anymore. Maybe you can. Maybe you can't. But uh, now that I learned about the wild card system, I'm going to go with five perks. That way it'll be like I have six perks because wild card is going to count as one. So I'm going to go with five perks. So really I'll be using up six things. Then the primary weapon will be seven two attachments, take it to nine, give me a Semtex or a Claymore, take it to 10. Or maybe I'll go with four perks, get a Claymore or a Semtex with a stun or something. I'll mix it up. I have a four, I have a four perk class and then I have a five perk cheese class. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. Black Ops 2 has me a little bit excited. I'm excited about prestiging how every time you prestige you get to unlock something at that level that you can't have on the previous prestige finally there's going to be a reason to prestige so i'm gonna prestige right away i'm not gonna think about it and say oh i'm not gonna, i'm just gonna go right for it and i think i'm gonna play primarily on the 360 this year last in black ops i didn't really play it that much on the 360 i played it mostly on the ps3 I think maybe I'll switch it up and play it more on the 360. I don't know. The only thing I'm worried about is COD Elite. Do you remember last year when they announced COD Elite for Modern Warfare 3? At the time, I say that everyone on YouTube, we thought that it was a bargain. We thought it was going to be a good thing. If you were the kind of player that was going to get all the maps anyway, if you got COD Elite you were going to save $10 and you were going to get maps early and then everyone else would have to wait a month. But it turned out that COD Elite was a flop. It was a major flop because when the game first came out and the first few maps came out, they weren't available in all the game modes. You had to go into that dumb playlist if you wanted to play them. 
So you couldn't play ground war with them. You couldn't play you couldn't play your favorite game modes with the new maps. And then I don't think we got as many maps as we did in Black Ops because in Black Ops we would get four multiplayer maps and then a zombie map. And then the last map pack was all zombie maps. But in this game they bundled they gave us stuff we didn't want or at least i didn't want i didn't want spec ops i didn't want face off so all those maps even though they considered those to be our dlc for those months to me it wasn't so it was like i paid 50 bucks but i didn't get as many maps as i used to get in the past i got a whole bunch of stuff i didn't want to use Knowing what I know now about COD Elite, I wouldn't have gotten it back then. Or actually, maybe I would have because I'm a YouTuber. If I wasn't a YouTuber, if I wasn't a commentator and I knew what I knew about COD Elite now back then, there's no way I would have gotten it. And I probably wouldn't have even gotten it if I wasn't a YouTuber anyway. Who knows? I don't know. But I'm just hoping that they don't give us a whole bunch of crap we don't want. Just give us multiplayer maps. Give us new zombie maps. Please consider that our DLC. If you want to give us some other crap, like a camo, that should just be on top of the fact. That should be some free stuff. Don't just say, okay, here's your little downloadable content, winter camo for the month. You know, we don't want that. Or at least I don't want that. So now we just have to trust in Treyarch. I think they're going to do better with the DLC because the Black Ops DLC was pretty good. There were a few maps that kind of sucked, like Hotel. I thought that was going to be a good map, but it was an utter fail. But for the most part, it was good. Even even zombies, because I never played zombies before. I didn't play World at War. So when I first experienced zombies, even I thought it was fun. When the new zombie maps came out, I gave them a try. I made a couple of videos. It was fun. So I'm hoping that Treyarch can do it again with the DLC. Oh, look at that dead man's hand over there. Did you see that? All the Minecraft players are pissed. They're mad that I didn't get hit with that dead man's hand right there. Oh, you guys are going to be mad with this one. You guys are going to be mad. Look at that. Another dead man's hand. I have been avoiding dead man's hand like crazy. I played a session last night on the PS3. I played for about an hour and a half to maybe, or maybe it was three hours. I don't even know. I lost track of time, but I didn't get hit with dead man's hand once. And all my teammates got hit with it. FD chick got hit by dead man's hand. Subscribers got hit by dead man's hand. People on my friends list that you've known, like Ninja and Shimmy and Ian and all those guys, they got hit with dead man's hand. I didn't get hit with it one time. So I think the threat of Minecraft has really... Oh, look at that dead man's hand again. And I avoided it again. I don't know what it is. I have the best excuses to camp. Remember that game in Kill Confirm where I couldn't get tags because of the Comcast lag? So I had to camp. I was lagging like a boss. And now I have to camp because I don't want to get hit by dead man's hands. So I have the best. Oh, oh, look at Mrs. 5000 Watts getting low. Oh, she dropped it to the flow. Oh, she hit him with that drop shot, that low blow.